hello guys welcome back in this video i'll show you how to generate a private key without putty gen in order to connect to your aws ec2 instance in my previous video i have explained how to connect to your ec2 instance from windows using putty and there was an intermediate step where you create a private key using the putty gen so in the new uh, version of aws AW has made this step very simple and we can create the private key without this putty gen. In this video, let me explain how to connect to your EC2 instance without creating a private key using the putty gen. So here I have logged into AWS management console and I'm going to EC2 dashboard. Similar to whatever we did the last, uh, last time, just go to the instances and click on launch instance. So this is just a normal uh, server. I, I call it as a demo server. Regarding the application of the OS images, I'm leaving the default. So this is the free tier eligible. So I just wanted to continue with it. So this is just as this is a demo video. And regard the instant type, that is the regarding your memory, com computing memory and the networking or the storage needs. Just click on the drop down and you can see various uh, um, instance types. So if you want to compare different instances, just click here and compare the instances. I'm working on the free tier, so I'm just leaving it to this T2 micro, which is free tier eligible. And this is the important step which we are focusing for now. In order to create a new key pair, just click on new key pair and give a name demo key. Okay. So in the previous video, we had downloaded the .pem file. And using the putty gen, we converted it to .ppk, that is the private key file. In the newest uh, AWS web page, they have provided us an option with creating a .ppk file for using with putty directly. So we do not need any uh, the additional step by using a putty gen to create your private key. Just click on .ppk and click on create key pair. So your private key file is downloaded. Make sure you remember the path where it is getting downloaded. And next step is the network settings. So I'm leaving everything uh, to the default. And regarding the security group, I'm just creating a new security group. And I'm allowing the SSH traffic from my IP address alone. Next step is regarding the storage. For free tier eligible customers, we have provided 30 GB, but this is a demo purpose. So I'm leaving it at 8 GB and that's fine for now. Let's click on launch instance. So wait until the instance is launched successfully. So once you get the success message, you can just click on this and you'll be able to see the status of your instance and it is currently in the pending state. Wait for a few seconds and you will be able to get the instance in the running state. Yeah, the instance is currently in the running state. Just go to the networking and you'll be able to see the public IP address and other things, other details of this particular server. Now copy the public IP address and go to your putty, put the host name here and then go to the data, just type in your username which is the EC2 user and similar to the next step, go to the auth. In the latest version of putty, the option to uh, upload your um, private keys is moved to credentials instead of auth. So this will be, there will be a small difference in that if you're using the previous versions of putty. Okay. So since I'm using the latest version, I'm clicking on credentials and going to browse. So here I have my key, which is generated uh, directly from the AWS and I'm going to the session. Just I'm giving a name. And I'm giving on save. Okay, so let us try to open it. You, we should be able to connect to our EC2 instance successfully like how we did earlier. So I'm just giving on connect once since I'm not gonna use this instance anymore. Okay, so if you wanted to uh, use the same instance again and again and then you can directly give accept if not just connect once. So who am I? I'm just checking who the user is, yeah. So I have successfully connected to our EC2 instance and uh, it is under the home EC2 user. Okay. Hope this video was useful in order to understand how to create a private key without using the putty gen. Okay. Thanks for watching this video. Have a nice day.